Jimmy, 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 cause his testosterone, just shoot it in your balls, put it straight in there. <laughs> that's where that's where it should go. It should go in the no, testosterone. We'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> you know what I'll do, Lee? I'm gonna I'm gonna do something special for you. I'm gonna go to Bear Dump, I'm gonna stamp my testicle, and then I'm gonna send a video. I'm gonna send it to you. <laughs>
Bud Light, this woman. She, she's a wacko. Decided, excuse me? She's a wacko. That girl. Well, she, well I'm, I'm getting to her. She, she, the CEO of Bud Light, who put the, the Bud Light division, who put Dylan Mulvaney on the beer can, a Bud Light beer can, who, that, that right there, on the yeah. Bud Light, doesn't even know what sports are. And they lost $4 billion in market cap in just a couple of days. The point is, is that the CEO, this, I forgot her name, she's a woman, highly, highly educated, graduated from, you know, everywhere. And this is the example that we're getting. She is the classic far left liberal educated executive that is now making decisions that are going to affect the bottom line of publicly traded companies. Yes, and this is a disaster for, for other companies too, Nike, Anheuser-Busch. There's all, all the companies that are jumping on board this woke bandwagon are losing money. That's why they, they're saying go woke, go broke. That's like very classic Listen, and very true. John, John. Didn't, didn't, Nike, didn't Nike just uh, do a Guys, a I, need, I need help over here. Fuck all these people. I, I need fucking help. Fuck Your Nike microphone and... is terrible. Your microphone oh, Come terrible. on, man. But, uh, He's Nike, not he's doing I think Rebooted. Nike, though, know, there's been two more things come out. I think Nike used her now for a sports bra yep. on that. Sports bra. And also, Tampax using yep. her. Tampax. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my like, God. But the thing was, so, so, so she so doesn't have a vagina. How did this Tampax use her? Oh, no. You're not allowed to say Is that. that better? Is that better? Thank you. Thank you. You're going to get canceled for saying that. You that cannot say me. Dylan Mulvaney does not have a vagina. That is vagina um, uh, shaming. You can't yeah. do that. Dave, can you hear you're, me? You're like, can you hear you're me? like trans, trans vagina phobia or something, Dave. <laughs> Dave, can you hear me? Think that a product that a woman yep. would use, you know, up her can vagina hear, would be something hear, that would be advertised by a biological woman who would need it, you know, not someone who no, doesn't. Oh, because there's no such thing as biological women, Dave. You identify as a woman. A woman is. First of all, you oh, can't. Let me, oh, let me ask you a wait. question. You, oh, you have, me, I've got to finish the thought. Then uh, Jimmy can uh, have the microphone. There is no definition of woman. They don't know how to define woman. Uh, so there's no, you can't define it. So if you can't uh, define let, it, you can't hang a vagina off. Hold on. Lee, let me ask you a question. If you're, if you're let's say you're a woman who's postmenopausal, you're 55. Mm -hmm. Are you sticking a tampon up your uh, vagina if you're not bleeding anymore because you're not, you're not menstruating anymore? Probably, probably not. But the thing that right. gets me is, probably not. unless she's really lonely, right? Yeah. So, what, why would this woman, who's not really a woman biologically speaking, whether she has a vagina or not, is it regard regardless? She's not bleeding. She's not menstruating. Why would they use her as the, as a face of tampon? Or him. But what I don't understand is, you get these little minorities who have the loudest <clears> voices, <throat> but yet, like that woman's sports. It's like, why aren't real women outraged by this? It's like, who's that one? Swimmer who ha who was talking about the trans in swimming and oh, she got attacked. Yeah, she took the one she who got tied Leah. Yeah, she got she got attacked in the college. She had to lock herself in a dorm room because people were trying to attack her. It took three hours for the police to come and help her just because she was talking about how it's unfair for trans men to be in women's sports. And half the college, wherever she was, was trying to fucking get at her and almost kill her. Fucking hell, it's crazy. It's not like you have COPD. What's going on? Yeah, you the, a, before he puts his CPAP machine on, let him talk. <laughs> He's breathing so heavily. I know. You're going to die on his air. Uh, you know, everybody says that about me. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yes, yeah. we can. Yeah. All right, so first off, I wanted to ask Dave how he's feeling because I haven't, I haven't spoke to him since you haven't talked to me since you came home from yeah. the hospital. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Every day I feel a little better, but, I, but you know I, I get fatigued during the day. But uh, you know I, I have yeah. my moments. Right now I'm on a, on a high right now, so I'm I'm doing good. Okay, good. That's number one. Okay, right. so number two is I need help here. Okay, you oh. sound like you do. You can't breathe. Well, you know you guys are talking about vaginas and everything, right? I I makes, I, it makes I, you I, heavy. Fake vaginas. I'm talking about <laughs> paid vaginas. Fake. 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 Like, Actually, it's vaginal etiology. There isn't even not even a fake <laughs> vagina in in, in play. <laughs> well, I, anyway, I discovered uh, today that mm -hmm. I have a vagina too. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah, it's attached to four legs, and her name uh, is Bella. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I gotta say, I gotta be honest with you. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I have prescription testosterone for like the longest time now, right? 
Yeah, you've so been talking it, about this it, for- Right. So, yeah. like, there's something mentally wrong with me. So, anyway, you know, I've been staring at all my bottles for weeks, <laughs> <You're> for, weeks. <laughs> for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. I've been staring at these bottles on my on my desk. So, finally, I, I actually loaded a thought, and I've been now, but now I, I I I progressed to staring at the thought on my desk for three days now. Okay? Why can't you do the injection? I so now understand. I was in the, I was in the bathroom like before you called, and I I was sitting there with my pants down on the sink, and I and I, and I was like going like this in the, in the bathroom, like I was you know I was you know can I tell you something like you know and I, I, how come I can't do this fucking hey, shot? Me. You I did it for fucking man. years, wait, twenty twenty something that. fucking years. No, I shot the shoulder, wait, the ass, wait, the leg. Wait. How come I can't do a, it? Jimmy, be Please. a man, take the needle and put it right through your shirt and give yourself a shot right into that pet. But before. before you even say that, Jimmy, take that fucking Marine shirt off right now, you fucking pussy. I know, right? <laughs> it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. Disgrace. I, <laughs> I don't understand what the fuck my problem is. I I I, don't, I like I don't know what the use fuck a, my problem insulin, is. Use the insulin needle, Jimmy. You got a big needle on there. Go yeah, smaller. Yeah. You, you got to take like uh, what are they? They want you to do like uh, five units every day, hey, right? I have. A, I've been hearing everyone's doing that lately. Everyone's doing like a little bit every fucking I don't day. Know how big you know is. what? I'm going to give credit to Jimmy Quinn. Jimmy Quinn wrote an article for one of the original RX Muscle magazines when I had the magazine. It was actually a paper magazine for a couple right. of years. Let's see and he wrote this thing: "My love affair with the syringe." And he said it best: Bodybuilders love to take injections. They love that needle. And no. any chance they can do to use the needle more, they're going to do it. So if once a week is is uh, one shot a week, they'll do this is is not enough. They'll break it into f- seven shots a week, and they'll justify in their mind that it's working better, even though we know the same once a week shot does the same thing as taking you know three shot you know seven shots a week. So you say psychologically they break up the same amount of uh, testosterone. Right. It's several needles thinking right. that they're getting more, but it's really the same amount. Well, they don't think they're getting more. They think they're getting a better like blood level of it, but it's bullshit because the stuff oh. is long acting. Now, I'm not right. against doing two shots a week, but you don't need to take seven shots a week. But bodybuilders love that syringe. They feel like if they're shaking a shot every day, they're actually yeah. growing or responding better. Yeah. Well, how come I can't That's fucking that. do it? How come you I be staring at you? Because it, you're the pr- you're a procrastinator. That's why. We're you know? here. We're here for you, Jimmy. Do it live. Why, Jimmy, do why haven't you yourself? moved out of New York? Fuck the pin. Why haven't you moved out of New York? Why haven't you not done anything? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, John. <laughs> who has never taken a shot through their shirt? I know I know. everyone's done it at least once. I've done it through my jeans, I'll admit. Yeah. I've, I've done that. I've, I've done it through my jeans. And that's pretty really hard for Because jeans are tough to get that needle through. Yeah, because I, I was too lazy and I was in a rush. And I just I did it right through, this, right through, the, right through the jean, you know. But... Uh, <laughs> I've done that several times, but I, here I am. I can't even do it once in the bathroom. I got my pants do it down. Right into all... your pack. You can't reach anything else anyway. Just go right into your pack muscle. You know, I I, I got I got to admit. So I was in the toilet, you know, and I and I I'm having trouble reaching it. Like I used to, because I haven't done it in so long. I used to I used to sit on the side of the table and just easily, you know. Now I can't even turn around to get the the freaking thing in there. Can you, you know what I mean? Open, do your shoulder. You're frozen. You're frozen. You're sitting- that's why. You're sitting on the toilet taking a shit, which is a nice hygienic place to take a shot. <laughs> right, right, right Lee, exactly. Oh, I think if I'm on the toilet, my, my cheeks are spread out over the toilet bowl. You know what I mean? And uh, Lee, I can Lee get a nice shit. There. It's not very sterile, yeah. yeah. Here's an idea, Jimmy. Take the needle off. Put uh, the syringe up your ass and just shelf it. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. I, might that, that might, that might, might, that might be might better, work. actually. But, yeah, because I... I'm thinking about doing it on the side of the leg. That I used to no. do that years ago. Don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. No, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of veins there. Yeah. Oh you know, my I mean, god. That, there, that fascia, right? For oh. don't. Oh, god. I've done that twice in my life, and each time I couldn't fucking walk for a week. Yeah, it's not a smart. Place really? To do. Yeah. yeah. No, I, did, I did it one one leg. My one leg, and my mate goes, maybe you just hit a nerve. Bad thing. Try the other leg. Did the other leg? Same thing. Never again. Really. My friend in, I, I, in California did it. He did a shot in his quad, got infected. <clears> Next time I saw him, he had a piece cut out of his leg about that long and an inch wide and about an inch and a half deep. They had to wow. cut fucking. Well, he shot it in the, in the side of the, on, on, on top. He shot he it shot. into his leg and the doctor said, 
you missed every muscle and went in between. That's how it got infected. I think oh, it, my God. I think it, well, that's when you know you should not be training. If you miss every fucking muscle in your leg, if you got no fucking muscle. <laughs> <laughs> So now, on the side, of, the side of the leg is what I'm talking about. No good. Just do your shoulder, no. Jimmy. Just don't. Jimmy, can you do your shoulder? shoulder. Yeah. I don't even know if I could reach the shoulder. Right through the shirt. Know. Just fucking do yeah. it. Come on. Hold it like this. Just hold fucking it like this. do it. Like, like, his whole body's frozen. Like, hold it like this. Like this. Like this. Don't I'm, hold it like a like this. Hold it like that. And then put your finger on top. Like like, like a pet, like a pet, like a like a tape it to like, the wall, Jimmy, and then just run into the wall, you know, and then, and then we can <laughs> do it that way. My friend used to do that. My friend used to put the plunger on the wall and back up onto it. <laughs> do it in oh your forearm, God. Jimmy. Stick it in your forearm. Just I don't I don't like the idea of the chest because like the right. heart is there. You know what I mean? There we go. Look so this is the actress. Marvel. This is the actress. Disney, you know, loves this. They're, I love Disney movies, but you know what? Yeah. They're so woke. They always got to have like lesbian and gay relationships and, and transgender stuff. So the new Marvels movie, they're putting this. Uh, Lee and I couldn't even figure it out initially, but this this is actually a female, biological female actress who's actually, uh, I guess she's uh, married to uh, the character who plays Loki, Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. And yeah. she's playing now a Marvel character that was originally male, but now is female. So. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I'm Marvel confused. Marvel. Is she a woman or a man? I'm confused now. That's right. Woman. She's a female actress, but she's okay. playing a, I guess, transgender male to female. So, well, I find, I find that offensive female. that they, I find that offensive they're using a woman to play a man. What they couldn't find any good male actors for this part. That's right. This is this is very offensive, and it's yeah. like. That woman on the Bud Light, I've been seeing memes pop up lately going, if you can get offended by a black lady on syrup, I can get offended by a trains on a bee can. You know, I, I like Aunt Jemima, man. I, I, I find it offensive that they take it off. They, they took it well, off. So did, did they, so did did the they take it off? Huh? Yeah, the family, the family was upset by it too because that was like, they were proud of her being on there and stuff. I, like that. I, 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 you know, I like that. That, that to me, that was the real, you know, uh, syrup. Well, you know, the, well, back yeah. to Bud Light, they had, a, they had one. There was something. I'm not sure it was Florida or maybe Boston. There's some pub somewhere yeah. where, over the weekend or something, they normally go through four big, um, what kegs of Bud Light. They said they were lucky to sell like four big glasses that whole weekend. They didn't well, sell. Did you anything. know beer drinkers. Think about beer drinkers. They're, you know, they're probably like, you know, most of them are like redneck, you know, American, you know, males that, you know, are not going to buy into this whole woke, you know, type of thing. And they'll be like, we're not drinking this shit if they're going to put this, uh, this, uh, this, whatever they want to, you know, derogatory comment to the woman they have on the, on the beer can. We'll just drink, uh, you know, Budweiser or I mean, we'll drink exactly. uh, Disney, even, or like Coors Light or whatever, whatever they want to switch to. Even though, even though. Even the inbred rednecks, it's like they don't like trains. They might get <laughs> they might get drunk and fuck their brother, but he's not dressed as a girl. Well, you, but you see, you got to understand. Well, they do the, that normally, Lee. <laughs> you got to understand the marketing strategy behind this. See, oh, they're, they're the, the, idea, the idea, yeah, believe it or not, this is a strategy. The idea is they want to attract new beer drinkers, younger beer drinkers, new ones. Oh. Right, oh, yeah. So they think that they're going to promote the this old old bullshit though, that all these young people subscribe to and believe and are indoctrinated with in the universities yeah. and colleges right. that they go to. So they, they think they're going to not only make up for the disenfranchised beer drinker that they're alienating yeah, it's now, never gonna happen. they're going to make up for it with an even greater increase of new beer drinkers that are going to not only yeah. make up for what they lost, but also grow the brand. Which is fucking stupid. No these way. motherfuckers don't even work. How are they going to buy beer? These these transgender people. I know. I know a couple of them right over here in the neighborhood. They don't even want to get a job. Do you know how many of them there are? over four hours. They're crying to their, to, their, to, their, to their parents. Do you know how many of them there are? Oh, I don't how give a shit. People? Do you know how many people we're talking you're looking, about? You know, you're, you're looking at the fucking American guy right here, okay? Dude, I get a fucking you know in the morning. I drive a truck all fucking day. I get home two in the afternoon. I break my balls. I pay my fucking bills. All right? That's the American guy right here. Not these fucking trans shit and fucking things that are fucking talking so about. Do you know how many of those trans idea. people there are in this country? Yeah, probably uh, 1%. Not even. 
Right. They say there's a million and a half. Wow. But that's also includes the, the fucking Gen Z confused yeah. fucking lunatics that don't know what and they're doing. It's but, funny because I've seen I've seen some true tr- when I say true trans I mean you know to me it's like this is like this whole big woke fad where they're transgendering non-binary gender fluid because it's almost like the word racism now gets thrown around so much that it really when there's something that's really racist it's almost like just swept under the carpet it's almost like a true trans person who feels deep in their heart and soul that they're either a man or woman and they want to change. They go to see doctors, they see psychologists, they make sure that this life-altering experience is something that they got to live with for the rest of their life and it's something they really want to do. Now it's just like wishy-washy. Oh, today I'm a girl, tomorrow I'm a boy. It's like it's not really, they're not really well, Val- deep down. Val- Valentino said it, the ones, the true trans, like male to female, you wouldn't even know that these are, no. that they're And they don't, they they don't like men. half this bullshit that's going on. They don't even agree. They don't want to even be, draw attention to it. They want to just do yeah. their thing, you know? Well, and, like the you, and, who acts, and, and who acts like Dylan Mulvaney? Who who acts dressed up like a schoolgirl skipping down the street, fucking prancing around like a fucking fairy? Who does that? Who you know, does John, that? You know where it is, John? They put this shit on TV, right? And it makes it look like you know they could put anything on TV, and it makes it look like the entire world's going bonkers. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, you like you said, it's only like you know uh, not even a million you know people uh, that that are that way. Yeah. But they put it on TV. It seems like the whole world's going upside down. They did it's that new. shit when they, when the COVID broke out. They they were they were going in like emergency rooms, and they were saying that the uh, hospitals are overwhelmed. You know. Meanwhile, me, I drove around. I went to Huntington Hospital, Sayas. I was checking this shit out myself. I didn't see nothing like that. But they they take an emergency room that's that's crowded. I could go down to Huntington uh, Hospital right now on a Friday uh, Friday night and do the same thing. See people out in the hallways, you know, covered in the gurneys. And, ooh, you know, I could do the same fucking thing and say, uh, you know, there's a virus broke out. And everything. That's what they do, man. It's the TV, bro. It's the TV. It's poison. And that, and that guy the TV too, is a poison guy, box, man. The guy or girl that McDave, whatever his name is, her name, he's like 25, 26, but on one of his profiles that when he talks, he says he feels like and identifies as like a 12-year-old girl. And that's why he acts that way because – he thinks he's a 12-year-old yeah, girl. Yeah. You, know, like, you know what's wrong with him, Lee? He's mentally mental. fucking he retarded, all right? Something is wrong thing. with the fucking guy, all right? Well, that's the thing now, yeah. yeah, because mental illness, I think, is almost It is mental like, illness. I, I can be mentally ill now, but you got to accept me as being mentally ill, whereas you might have gone to see someone and get help. It's just a mental illness, and it's taken over, and people are like, this is how I am. you got to accept me. I'm not going to get help. I'm just fucking I won't. I won't accept I that. I want to, if I went to the supermarket and I saw a, a transvestite uh, uh, cashier and and, and, I, and I I said thanks brother and he said oh, brother I'm not a brother I'm a I would say no you're a oh, fucking man that's you're, what you are fucking Canada, live with it live with if it you're in Canada now did you see Canada's changing the laws where if you misgender them in Canada and stuff it can be a hate crime and go to jail mm-hmm. you know what's funny the, the the sad part is if someone wants if I'm a man I want to be a woman or vice versa. Why can't you just do it? And why why does yeah, it have to be like exactly. rules and cancels? And <clears throat> why does well, Disney have to shove it? Hold on, why does Disney have to shove it down our throat? I I don't uh-huh. understand why it can't just it just can't be. Yeah. Why does it? Why do we have to force it on society? Yeah, why? You know? That's a good well, question, Dave. Ones, why? The true why? trains do. The true trains are quiet. They just go get it done and live their life. They're yep. not out there That's, saying, "Look at me, I'm yep. the trains." They just live there. It's almost like when the whole gay marriage thing come out here in Australia and that my dad has been with his partner 45 years. He's like, we don't need this shit. We're happy how we are. You know, the majority right. of people who are gay to be with their partners weren't really even interested in the whole gay marriage thing and stuff. They're just like, we go about our life and we're happy. It's like, we don't need right. this. Oh, what right. have, you seen, have you seen the new Shazam movie? I think no, it's this. No. It's the elite, man. If they want to get a rise out of the people, that's what it is. Well, they it, wanna, it, they get a, what it is is social media. media. Is what it is. It's so yeah. social media is the problem, and we have. Don't forget the trans. Let's take vegans for example. Yeah. Right? <laughs> there would no be no vegans, none, if there wasn't social media. But because we have social media, Peter right. Luger's, the oldest steakhouse in America, gets bad reviews because they don't have vegan choices on their menu. <laughs> 
It's a I like that, they, it they, it they got a it, Peter Lucas in South Carolina, that. John. I love Peter Lucas. No, they only in New York. What about uh, some yeah. of the it's vegan restaurants? And I was I was on when we were in Vegas for the Olympia. I ate at Gordon Ramsay's Nightmare of a uh -huh. Steakhouse, and and th there were like four reviews that were like negative reviews because there were no vegan choices on the menu. I'm like, it's what the fuck? Cream, the spinach. But did you see? Oh, did you see that? Yeah, or not? Or not sufficient? You know, they had, they had mushrooms yeah. and broccoli. It wasn't enough. Oh, for them. Yum. Did you see the reverse of that though? There's been some vegan restaurants that are going broke because all they serve is vegan. So they've added some meat meals to their menu, and the <laughs> vegans funny. are going fucking ape shit. They're like, well, it's only fair that steakhouses have to add vegan meals. Why can't a vegan place add meat meals to their menu? And these vegans are going off. But in the new Shazam movie. A couple of them lose their powers, spoiler alert. And the guy who's the green, the young kid that's the green Shazam, he's normally a fat kid, but then he turns into a Shazam hero. When he lost his powers, the family's all there. I got something to tell you guys. And you think he's going to say he's lost his powers. He goes, I'm gay. And they're like, oh, no, you're gay. No. Are you, you know, kidding me? Yep. So he's gay and he gains his powers back? No, he gets his powers back later, but that's what does he speak and now the gets whole family his when they're back scared. later. John, you have out. to constantly push it down your throat. Every freaking Disney movie that there is here. But they the thing was, did you notice though? Back in the day, there were plenty of movies. Mrs. Doubtfire, he was pretty much trains. You had right. Birdcage with Robin Williams. They were gay right. and campers, anything. Funny movie. Yeah. We've had plenty of movies with gay characters in them, and nobody cared because it wasn't shoved in your face, but just right. shoving it into children's faces, having drag queens. Yeah, but Lee, three, the, this is Doubtfire was a stories. great. That was a great movie. The guy wanted to yeah. get in. You know, there was a whole story behind that. He wanted right. to get in with his family, so he did what that. What about Bird, Birdcage? Birdcage was funny. Was Robin that Williams was funnier. That, that was Nathan, the funniest Nathan movie Blaine. ever. And that, that was okay. Yeah, what Lee, like, what Lee's trying to say is they're purposely putting in characters now that are yeah. transgender. Yeah. Or right. get having gay relationships purposely right. because they want to feel like they're 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 keeping up with with the woke society yeah. and that people will think the movie's cool because of that and and that's well, just annoying. Is, well, the thing like is, kids don't get it. it. Your, your kids probably don't get it's it. Awesome My cool. friend has a couple of kids and they watched that new Cinderella when it come out and the fairy godmother was a black gay guy and I said, now does your kid get that? They're like, no, because the kids watching a movie just they don't for even movie. know. No, yeah. you're you're trying to put your adult brain into a kid. Yeah. The kid's not thinking that way. The kid's not thinking sexual. The kid's not thinking trans, straight, yeah. gender fluid. A kid just wants to watch a movie and be entertained. So you yeah. could put characters in there gay as hell. <clears throat> the kid's not clicking onto it because he's just watching a movie. So stop right. putting it in kids' movies. Lee, the whole world's going to shit, man. You know, I, I don't I think I spoke about this before, but a buddy of mine went to Planet Fitness. And uh, he, he, I think I've talked about it with Dave before. The guy, he yelled, he grunted because he lifted up a, a little oh. bit of head and he got yeah, an alarm. Did the alarm go off? A fucking alarm went off, bro. <laughs> Called the that was that that was called. 10 years ago they started with Planet Fitness. I knew yeah, that I was just found be, out uh, about this now. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, I just found out about this just recently. I did. And then the guy that's says, it. I'm fine. They have pizza. They, they order pizza. Yeah. Everybody has pizza and shit. What kind of, I mean, what the fuck, man? Imagine Jimmy in Planet Fitness. How long would he last? <laughs> I, I would. He drunk on every, every fucking well, no, Jimmy, Wait a minute, Jimmy, wait, Jimmy, wait a minute, wait. I got Jimmy a story here. Put his, I, Jimmy would walk in and put his bag down and go, uh, uh, what's that? You're Jimmy's got, Jimmy's got, got a hardcore gym. He's so loud, yeah. Jimmy and I went to a gym one time. And <laughs> where, where are we? In Washington, D.C., I think? It was, a, it was a fucking country club, you know, health club, it was like it was attached to a tennis thing or something. Everybody's wearing tennis, white, yeah. white shorts, and white shirts, yeah. every and and it and every time it's clean and shiny and chrome and white and everything. And those no Jimmy and I walk in there, the heaviest dumbbell is, is like 35. And you know, Jim, Jimmy gets getting starts doing these like close grip pull-ups, you know, like little 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 movements that he does, right? And he's going, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> within within three nanoseconds, this guy comes running over, right? With remember with the terry cloth headband and all dressed in white. And he goes, Sir, we don't make noise like this around here. 
<laughs> and Jimmy goes, how am I supposed to lift? <laughs> but, but that was like, that was like Jimmy when we were in California at the hotel, Jim, it was nice and quiet. People come in. All of a sudden, Jimmy gets the rope and machine. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, people start leaving the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. He can't do one one rep without screaming. It's like ah, 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 every rep, every it's single rep. It's the breathing. It's part of the whole fucking lifting. Yeah, block. it's like uh, it's like chi and karate. You know, yeah, yeah. You, you know, like you, you need you, you know you gotta you know. That one guy, no, Lee, that one me. guy, that one guy hung in there, though, Lee. The guy in oh, the yeah, one guy, one guy hung in, but he kept giving you looks like. Yeah, but then he then he couldn't take it. He left. <laughs> Yeah, he went to the oh, treadmill. then I started. No, then I started it with the TV. Remember the news was on, and I started oh, yeah. cursing at the news. Oh yeah, that's right. The news, the news was on. And some woman, some woman was on for it was Memorial Day, and Jimmy's it's got Jimmy's got the TV on. There's women over there. He's like, look at this fucking broad. She knows nothing about the fucking military and the fucking. He's like the embar- you're embarrassing like father, like your father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like. I'm like your, you know, like your dad, Dave. You know, Sal. Yeah, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, the, I'm the guy. I, I have no filter. You know, I'm just I'm no like, filter whatsoever. I'm not, that, I'm not that age now. You know, where embarrass yeah. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to pull up this story about Arnold's uh, son, uh, Joseph Bayana, the one he had oh, with the maid. Compete. I heard he's going to compete. I don't think he's going to compete, but he's he's in, it'll, he's doing a lot of movies. This guy. No, is he just in Hollywood. he put up a thing on his Instagram and he said, "I'm making the announcement now. Next year, he's doing the Arnold Sports Expo." Really? No way, really. Yes, wow. Yes, can you make that Instagram. bigger, Dave? Let me let me see if I can see that. I can't really see that. He picture. looks just like Arnold. I mean, it's crazy. I saw, right? I saw the picture of Arnold. Oh, yeah. I saw the video of Arnold filling in a pothole saying he's doing good work in the community. I, I was going to bring that up next, Lee. Let, let, I just want yeah. to talk about Joseph for a minute because he seems like a really nice guy. I watched him on he Dancing is. with the Stars. Yeah. He seems like, him. and Arnold seems to be grooming him. I'm sure Arnold's connecting yeah. him with the right people, right? Yeah. Well, he's in, the, he's in the, I met him when I was out there because. I was with my friend at the time, Matthew. He's like, oh, there's Arnold's son. He goes, ask him for a picture. I said, no, I'm not going to disturb him. But then Joe looked over at me and goes, oh, hi, Lee. Can I get a picture? I said, sure. Can I get one of you? So we had a good chat and that. And like I said, I follow him on Instagram now. And yeah, just last week, he put up a thing, a video where he said, I'm making the announcement now. Next year, I'm doing the Arnold Sports Expo. I think I've been classical physique, one of those. Wow. That's awesome. That is, that's good. Where, he's, in that's in the, he's in the real estate too. He's in the real estate a lot like his father. Arnold got him into everything he's doing. Arnold's into real estate. Arnold is, you know, Arnold probably says, do a couple shows, get the bodybuilding world behind yeah. you, get into acting. You yeah. know, he's doing like four or five roles he's got in real movies yeah. he's got coming up. So, if he's doing have everything you guys else. seen the other son that he had with uh, Maria? Patrick? Patrick, Patrick, yeah, he's he, yeah, he's a nice guy too. Really think, nice guy, but have you seen him? He doesn't look anything like Arnold. He looks I like a Kennedy. Him, I saw him in one or two movies. It's pretty shit, but if Joe's <laughs> going to do everything Arnold did, and you said he's grooming him, I hope he gets yeah. a better look at house cleaner. Yeah, <laughs> that's not nice. That's his mother. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> where where does he live? He lives in comedy. California. Uh, Dave? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think I Arnold. You. I think Arnold realized that that this this kid Joseph is willing to listen and learn from him and get any information possible. Probably mm-hmm. the other kids. The other kid will probably be president, uh, Patrick uh, Schwarzenegger, oh. <laughs> because they're grooming him for politics, guaranteed. This kid who's going to be an act. You're going to see he's going to be a movie star. Arnold will make him a movie star because he'll plug him into all the right people in Hollywood. He'll make sure he does makes all the right moves. And this kid is smart. He's listening to Arnold, and he's doing exactly what Arnold's telling him to do. It seems that Arnold has a much stronger connection with this kid mm-hmm. than he has with the other one. Because you never see anything about in the news about yeah. Arnold and yeah. Patrick doing anything, ever. Well, there's another son, heard, too, isn't there? I think there's another son with, with Maria. Yeah. Well, I, heard, I think I that... Heard um, the, no, there's a daughter. I the, yeah. yeah. I thought he has another son too. I think I think that they're very close with the mother. That's why, John. They are. Well, yeah, well, that's, 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 that's usually what happens. Grapevine. Yeah, some siblings grapevine. go with the mom. Some siblings go with the dad. That's what happens. Well, I heard on the grapevine, cause Arnold and Joe are that close, and he's helping him out a lot. I heard there's a lot of animosity and jealousy between him and the others. I'll bet. Yeah, you know, that it makes sense, Lee. It would definitely make sense because you know, uh, obviously they were not raised all together, so. 
Although they, I think for a portion of time they were. <laughs> they didn't know. Before it. everyone knew. <laughs> when they were younger, I think they all played together. You know, but, uh, they may have. They didn't even know they were brother and sister. You know? exactly. Brother and brother. All right. The other story is that you know, Arnold. I, I love. I'll tell you why I love Arnold because Arnold's a doer. He's not a talker. And mm. Arnold, this is, well, there was this he, pothole. He, he's a talker too. Uh, this is, no, this but he is, gets this things is, done. There was a pothole uh, in his neighborhood that everyone was messing yeah. their car up, and uh, Arnold said, "You know what? We're going to fix it." He got his uh, guys, dang. and they went out there and he used his old uh, bricklaying, uh, you know, skill. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like so upset that he had a pothole in his neighborhood, and all those people driving their Ferraris and Bentleys when he got the Franco wheel. there. Go. Go down, go down to the poor areas of filling their fucking potholes. Oh, your Bentley bent its wheel, Arnold. Oh, what a shame. If we did that, we'd get fucking arrested. Here in Australia, this guy wanted a school crossing, right? We've got the flashing lights, the sign that says right. school crossing. For the government to do it, the council to do it was 60000 This guy's a jack of all trades. He went and did it. He put the flashing lights in the road. It cost right. him $5,000. He put the signs up. It looked just like the thing. Because it wasn't council approval done by council, the council dug it all up. <laughs> no, are you serious? Oh my yep. god! Yep. Well, you you guys live in the in the stupidest country, of both. I thought we yeah we were the really. Well, well, if you did that, the United if States. you filled in a pothole, you'd get arrested if you went and did that on the side of the road and started filling it in. Well, Arnold is Arnold can do whatever he wants, but you know what? I, I like the fact that he he took you know action because. Arnold, you know, doesn't have to get his hands dirty. He can, he can, I mean, even if he wanted to fix it, he could have just sent some guys out there to fix it. He got in there purposely because he he wanted to let people yeah. know that if you don't start doing shit for yourself, okay, you're going to be so codependent on the government for everything that you're going to have no no uh, power in life. You're you're giving tomorrow, up everything. Tomorrow is going to be a video of him at Venice <laughs> packing a quarter tents in front of the gym. Is there? <laughs> he should come over no, here I, in New I would, York. I would love to see Arnold buy the Gold's Gym in Venice and fucking just redo the whole freaking thing. I mean, mm -hmm. don't you think that's like something that it was like be a labor of love for him almost? I think if, so. you know, he, he should, but you know, I think that creates a conflict because you know his what? alliance was with Joe Gold. And that, yeah, that, that Joe that's... Gold's not alive anymore, John. And there's no world gym anymore. So Right, Arnold. Arnold works out at it, Gold's Gym, so why not go in there and say, you know what, let's fucking clean this shithole up and make it look great again? I mean, I don't understand what, what because what if he does that, 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 then you're going to be shithole shaming the people who live in the shithole, and you can't do that because <laughs> you'll think you're implying there's something wrong with them. So you can't. They you know, got, you I, got to I, leave the shot. When is. I was there with Lee, man, I, I I couldn't even recognize the place, man. It was tents all over the place. I mean. But I got to say, man, uh, when me and Lee were walking down the street, these people had air conditions in their tents and stereo surround sound. Oh, I mean, they had fences. They had fences put up. I said to Jimmy, I said to Jimmy, why the fuck did we pay for a hotel room? We could have just put a tent in front of the fucking gym. Uh, <laughs> these guys had AC units in the, in, the, in the tents, you know. I don't even know where they were getting the electric. They were probably yeah, tapping that's on a good the pole. Question. Where are they stealing the electric from? They probably ran a wire up to the local pole and just tapped into you know, it. You know? It, it, you know what's really funny is that Gavin Newsom, the, the governor uh, of that fucking dumpster uh, fire, is traveling across the country promoting their ideology and policies to, come to states like Florida. You know, where you know, mm -hmm. they're freaking prosperous and thriving and people right. are moving to. Do you know that you can't rent a U-Haul in Florida, in California? There's are none. Why? Yeah, because Is everybody's everyone leaving. Because everybody everybody's left. left. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's yeah. the way U-Haul works and hurts and all of no, those I used to like California when I was a kid, man. I would I, never. I lived there 25 years. I loved it. Uh, I, I would know, never go back there, man. Never. never. What about, no. let me just talk about Newsom. He's traveling the country. Have you seen the state of San Francisco lately and the crimes up there? And is it Whole Foods is closing down? They've only been open a year. They're closing down because of all the crime and that. Yep. He had that guy. Wow. There's a bit of conspiracy in that guy who had the cash app where you see the video of him being stabbed to death and shit. He got That's killed crazy. up there. He was the owner of cash app, right? Yeah, yeah. Cash app, yep. <clears throat> Did you hear death. that story about that guy? In, I think it was Florida. He was... He was, he was like uh, at a laundromat or something, and 
some guy came in there and started robbing all the people at gunpoint, you know, taking the ladies' pocketbooks and all that. Uh, my brother told me the story. And then this guy, he happened to have a gun on him because, you know, he's Florida. And he yeah. shot the guy. And then he started giving all the pocketbooks back to the lady, you know, all the belongings right. back then. And then as he was walking out, he shot the guy three more times on the ground before he left. <laughs> oh, no. Well, and he didn't get be, in any that trouble. Could, that could be. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? In Did Florida, that the rule is if you, if you come into my house, you're going to get killed. You know, yeah, so the guy, way it is here in South Carolina. There was some guy, he's like a new American. He came from Guatemala or somewhere, 57. He was the car park attendant. That guy was looking into the cars, trying to break in. He goes to stop him. The guy breaking into the car shoots at the guy four times, hits him twice, once in the head and stomach, but he survives. He starts fighting the guy for the gun. He gets the gun, shoots the guy that shot him. He wakes up in hospital, handcuffed to the bed. He's been arrested for attempted murder on the guy that tried to kill him. Are you serious? Oh, Where the hell is this? Where is this? Where is this, in Australia? <clears throat> no, we're over there. Over there. Oh, we, don't have know, guns. we don't have guns here, Jimmy. We've got to stab people. <laughs> you know, you yeah. said you don't, You can't even get a crossbow over there. No, can't even get a slug <laughs> gun. Can't get, we can't even – got pellet guns here that I use for photo shoots. You know those gel guns? Yeah. A guy the other day was walking around with a gel gun in his backyard. Neighbors yeah. thought he had a real gun. He got arrested for having – what was it? Um, unlicensed firearm. It's a fucking gel gun. Unlicensed firearm. Well, you know, in in in, in defense of uh, Australia, you guys are a penal colony that was originally so all the criminals. You kind of lost your right. Which is weird because I have friends that have criminal records and they can't come to Australia because they were criminals. I said this place was built on criminals. What the right, fuck? Right, right, exactly. It's like Think that movie all Papillon. Your, all your I mean, that movie? We're we're, we're, we're in one Australia, place. Some Australia kind of got criminal. a good. We got a good mention, or well, not really. We've got to mention in John Wick Four because you know Ned Kelly, he was the Australian bush ranger that wore the suit of armor and shit. Right. In in there, they say you know his last words were "such is life." So through the John Wick movie, they use that a bit. They say "such is life" and that a few I times. But my my wife told me yesterday because I was talking about they got these medieval things. You know, like armor. We can't have body armor here. You can't have a Kevlar vest, and you can't even. I found out because I looked at it. Because of Ned Kelly had the tin armor suit when he took on the police, you can't even have like a knight's outfit. Anything, any type of body armor is illegal in Australia. What? Yep. Why is that? That's why. Nuts. Because that, because when the shit hits the fan, they don't want the civilians protecting themselves. That's no. why. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going to be out in the open, man. Like uh, it's like duck season. That's what mm -hmm. you guys are going to be like, man. No guns. Fuck no that. guns. Body armor, can't have anything. Like I said, so you can't, can't have, have bulletproof windows in your car either. Then, well, I went. Yeah, yeah no, that's that's probably probably. definitely out. You can get you can get tickets for just having your windows too dark tinted. But here, well, yeah, I, I went to the, here I went too. to the show the other day, and they got the shooting ducks, and I had to go with the air rifle. I shot them too, by the way. But the air rifle, when you lift it up, it's got this big metal thing on it that comes out of the barrel. So you can't right. turn the gun around. You can only move like this. Like you couldn't turn it around to shoot anyone. All you can do is oh. lift it up and down. It's got this big metal <laughs> thing that comes up. And so it's attached to it. <laughs> Are you guys allowed to have like, uh, you know, what's That's that the video up. game? We can shoot at the screen. Are you allowed to have like video games you can shoot things? Oh, yeah, in the arcade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have them. Yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah, well, that's just electronic, <laughs> Dave. That's not that's not a dangerous weapon. Now, they don't like any. They don't want anything. They I mean, unless you can fucking turn idea. around and ele electrocute somebody with the thing. I don't but know. But in, def in defense of the policy, the, you don't have people going into schools and shooting people all the time, right? And we've got stupid either. laws here over the holidays. No, no they, we get they they go in with swinging a chain and a knife. They, they, it's, yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. If, if, you, if you are a fucking lunatic and you yeah. intend to go to a school and kill people, You're the weapon the is irrelevant. Irrelevant. It is not the weapon. It is the fucking lunatic. And But, well, of course. but in America, because we're so fucking smart, well, the yeah. first thing that we do on any of these shootings Anytime there's a mass shooting, anytime there's a problem with guns, the first thing that the government wants to do the is guns. immediately take all the guns away from law-abiding citizens. Yeah, that's they the want to do that anyway. Though. That's hey, John. That's a that's a fucking agenda, man. That's not that's not yeah. even. Uh, yeah, you, know, get, you, you heard that go? cop? How about those three people that got killed in Florida? Three girls. Uh, they 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 found them in the woods. They, it was three guys. Did you hear that story, Dave? It was in Florida. 
Was and that with that, the, was uh, that with the free was that with the free bears? Three bears. Yeah, and the girl she came along and she ate their she ate their porridge and then she went and slept in their beds and then she said, No, that's too hot. Then she said, Oh, this one's just right. I think her name was Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Goldilocks, Goldilocks and the three bears, yeah. But here's the thing now, if you wanted to kill people in America, how I'd the be fuck like, did it go from that to that? I'd be like, so you said the three girls in the bush. So I just thought of three girls. Oh, oh my yeah. God. But if I wanted to kill people in America, this is the two best ways. I'm not saying do this, but just uh, wait for a big event. Wait for a big event to come along, like a big marathon or street parade, Mardi Gras in New Orleans. I'll get in Jimmy's nice new truck and just go fucking plowing through the fucking crowd, knocking them down like dominoes. Or Christmas time, you used to have carols by candlelight where people come out and they sing carols holding candles. Well, we have that here. Or even like a vigil where you have thousands of people with candles. Get in a crop duster full of petrol and fucking spray them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put some thought into this, Lee, huh? These, these lunatics, like John said, they like to take guns and blow people away because it's like... I'm offended, I'm like... offended that you're talking about my people like this, Dave. I'm being hurt. <laughs> you wouldn't talk about trains like this. Don't talk about my lunatic people like These this. lunatics <laughs> don't want to run people over with cars. They, they don't want to, they want to blow people away with guns because it, it gives them a sense of power over these people. That's what it is. No, I, I, think, think I, I don't believe half. I don't even believe half the stories, man. Feeling them going under the truck wheels, feeling their heads crush as you drive <laughs> over. Think about it. What about, what about that lunatic that in Dan Solomon's neighbor? Dan Solomon lives in a really nice area of Lakewood, Florida, right outside Boca. And you know what? How many kids got killed in that little shooting? That was his kid's school, I think. Right? Wasn't it? Yeah, but why is it, why is it always like schools, England? Dave? How, why is it always schools? They, they're because they're innocent. There's no protection. It's because there's a giant sign over the door that says no guns. Mm -hmm. and yeah. then, it's an easy, easy target. Easy right. target. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's what, about that lunatic, what about that lunatic in Florida that hopped in his boat drunk and drove it around and hit fucking everything? And then he <laughs> sort of had to go to jail and that. Remember that and then he got out of jail really fast and nobody knows why. Remember that lunatic? Florida's exactly. full of lunatics. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know, they don't talk about the mentally. You know, uh, listen, they that that would the point that I was trying to make before uh, uh, Lee said the about the bears. There was there was a there was a cop down there. He was like the chief of police, and he was saying, you know, that it's 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 not the gun. It's the mentally disturbed, you know, yes. people. You know, mm -hmm. responsible gun owners don't act like that. They have no. them locked up in a safe. Their children don't get near them because they're responsible, okay? They're not maniacs that, that steal. As a matter of fact, they, that gun that those kids got, they stole it. you believe that there's too many irresponsible people out there and that, they, that you guys can't be trusted with your guns because they want to take away your guns, like you said, because they don't want anyone to be armed. That's why. Yeah, they don't want to be the anybody The government will take yeah. care of you. There's nothing to fear. Oh, Just let the government right. take care of you. And you ever notice there's always yeah. more shootings when election times are coming around for some reason. Every time there's an election... Or <laughs> yeah, because they want to pass gonna... all their agendas. You're right. right. Exactly. Anytime right. a Democrat needs help, there's a mass shooting. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And do you know? And do you know who these shooters all are? They're all fucking liberals. All of them. And None probably of hired by someone. None. Zero John, of John, these shooters. When, when they invaded Pearl Harbor, right? Back, I don't know what the day, what the year was, but they interviewed the uh, the head general in, in the Japanese uh, army. 42, they, I believe. What, what was it? I think 42? it was 42. Yeah, I think you're right. So yeah. anyway, they asked, the, they asked the Japanese officer, they said, how come when after you bombed Pearl Harbor, how come you didn't pursue and go into America? And, he, and his answer was, there's too many guns. He said <laughs> that's why he didn't want to come to America and invade America. Think about it. You know, every every you know, pretty pretty much every responsible gun owner. They, we own two, three, four guns each. So mm -hmm. you know, you know, and listen. That, that, you know, you say China has a two million man army, right? Everybody's like, oh, a two million man army. Oh, all right. Well, how about America? How many guns does America have? So you know, our, our forefathers put that in the Constitution, and they knew right. what the hell they were doing. It protect us well, from the militia farm. back then. There weren't even armies, just armed armed uh, citizens, you know, exactly. with the militia. Right. right. Well, okay. you know, the, 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 whole, the whole idea, the whole idea of self-protection 
is a very, very American thing when you think about it. I mean, mm -hmm. you go all the way back to the Cowboys and Indians. I mean, we, we were, we, we, this country was, has a strong feeling about protecting themselves from outside influences or in, outside danger. Also inside so, too, John. It says it in the. Right, that's what I'm getting to. So, so we have that mentality now. If you now, if you look at the government as the enemy, which it pretty much is, if you look at what's going on lately, they don't want us having guns. There's 600 million guns in this country. So, a, more. the last the last uh, figure I got was 600 million. You're probably right. There probably is more. But yeah, the thing is. You no, got, you got to look at the, people live in America. Then you got to times that by five. Every, everybody's got the you know you're you're in the billions with firearms. Maybe, may but you know there's 330 million people in the country. Half of them are fucking liberals. So you you know you you got Believe the other half. You got know, the other half. About, form. I don't know about half. Well, I watched I, I watched that interview with Trump the other day. Even when um Trump was being interviewed, he goes before it was China, before it was Russia. He goes the biggest enemy now is the government here, like Biden and the rest of their government and. That right. parking attendant was actually in New York because I remember I was watching a show about it because there was somebody else who defended himself and went to jail because they were comparing. A bigger owner. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah. And there was somebody else because they were comparing all the crime in New York that were all these felon crimes that now Bragg put down the misdemeanors because they were saying what a joke it was to move Trump from this little misdemeanor up to a felon when all these people, they're going through a list. Some of these people career criminals, 20 years, rap sheets this long, brags, let them all out, and they're committed murders and more crimes. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he's saying, we must come down on crime. People cannot get away with this. And he's talking about Trump being this big felon. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> 34. He, 34. Because he paid, off, be he paid off a porn star. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. you know, look, Listen, Vince McMahon is being held in genius, is right? It's not a crime, hush money. Uh, that brag, that brags the First biggest. First of all, Bill Clinton was was the biggest womanizer oh. of, of of any president, and you know what? Well, I don't care if he was a good yeah, president. You, that's fine. Yeah, Bill, you look Bill at, Clinton fucked a girl in the ass with a cigar in the fucking Oval Room. I mean, that was okay. Later, and then he gave the cigar to the, to Fidel Castro to smoke. After that. <laughs> even if you hated Trump, though, let's just say, let's just say you hated Trump, and Trump's biggest thing was he paid hush money. It got labeled wrong or something like that. Okay, let's just let's just take that. Now let's take Hillary with thirty-three thousand emails destroyed, laptops destroyed, phones destroyed. It's like, where's order looking into that? Biden well, wait a minute, laptop. Lee. Hold it. The, 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 there's paying hush money is not illegal. No, it's not right. a crime. Yeah. Destroying federal documents or in federal yeah. and, and emails is a crime. Okay. Yeah. Well, then, she had the, then she had the balls to say when they when they said to her and when they were in Congress questioning her and they said, "Did you clean those? You purposely clean those?" And she's like, "What do you mean, like with alcohol?" Like she was being like a, a wise what, ass. I mean, yeah, well, they, used some, they used some acid and they smashed all those SIM cards. They destroyed the computers. It's like, but even why is there no one looked into when that whole Russian thing come out where she paid someone to do that dossier, which was all fake and lies. That went on for two years. All that investigation. Why is, that should be a fucking chargeable about offense. About the military, that they, Benghazi. She left the military. Trying to men discredit over there. Trump. That's that's the whole thing. Come on. But, I mean, but like I, I may have said this on another show. <clears throat> it's not Trump. Trump is no longer a human. It's no longer a person. Yeah. Trump. It's an ideology. Trump is, yeah. is, is an mm -hmm. ideology exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Trump is a figurehead. He's an image of. Of a of an ideology of a belief that a lot of fucking people have, and mm -hmm. this scares the shit out of the liberals and the liberal media complex because all of what they're trying to do is not working. It's all backfiring. It reminds me of. Did you hear that, that, that guy out of that, jail um, with the horns? Wait a minute, hold on, Lee. That, they let him out of jail. Uh, what? Yeah. Because Tucker Carlson played the video that oh, okay. showed that he was not everything that they said he was, yeah. and they fucking had to let him out. Yeah, that, yeah. It's, so it's, that it's doesn't like that let police... Trump off the hook. I mean, it lets him off the hook because if they can let this idiot go with the horns, because of the video that showed the or the uh, service guys walking him around, showing him different rooms. Okay, so you know what does that tell you? There's Merrick Garland. Okay, yeah. Merrick Garland, the Attorney General of the United States, said on TV this week uh -huh. that five officers were killed on January sixth. <laughs> really? It's a total lie. 
It is a complete lie. No officers died on January 6th. The one that did die later had a fucking heart attack like a week later. There's yeah. video of him walking around. <laughs> yeah. They had yeah. Nancy Pelosi on video. She, what, now, who's I, that girl Trump, from, uh, uh, what's her name? The uh, Spanish girl from the Bronx. She's, she's a senator. IOC. Yeah. IOC. She, she was saying to, to Pelosi, get on the phone and stop this uh, this riot over here, this protest. And, and Pelosi, just, they got her on video. Pelosi said, that this is a peaceful process. What do you want me to do? She goes, I, she goes, just get on the phone and do your fucking job. Right. This was this was on video. I mean, Trump, like, Trump, Trump's like that movie V for Vendetta. You ever watch that movie where he started that. the uprising? I love that's what, that. That's what it's like. It's like that where that V for Vendetta, that guy started the thing where he got the people to stand up for themselves against the government and stuff. And yeah, look what they look at like, that happened to that guy with the show. They came in the middle of the night, threw a bag over his head, dragged him out of his apartment. I know, exactly. That's, that's <laughs> if you watch V for Vendetta, it's almost like what's happening in America now. Yeah, it's, it's, it really is. They, I like that too. Hey, when, oh, life always seems to imitate art, that's for hey, sure. I like and when they I'm guys, down. I am exhausted. I, I gotta I, wrap I, this I show up. I want to say this though, what John said right. about Tucker, because it was so funny when the liberals were trying to attack t- attack Tucker because that policeman, they said, oh, he got hit with the extinguisher. He's dead. And then Tucker's showing the video. And here he is at work, walking around the Capitol building. He's not dead. And they're like, Tucker Carlson's trying to cause problems. And everything that Trump said, he never said, go start a ride. He said, protest peacefully. Then they're trying to blame that on him. That phone call to Georgia, he goes, find the votes. He's not like saying, go fake and make him up. He's like, there should be more votes. Go find them. He's not saying, go out. It's like the way they twist and Trump to be this Oh, I'm, you know, he's so doing shit illegally. I'm thinking Trump is the most scrutinized person probably in the world. That's just yeah. crazy. I, I just want to go back to something that Dave just said. So Dave said that the the, uh, uh, the movies imitate life. It's the other way around. The movies show us what's going to happen. So they, they, they pre-program us for crap that's going to happen in our life. Yeah, course, that's what they do. So they, mm-hmm. they they get us prepared. That's what that's what oh, you I know. said. I said life imitates mm-hmm. art. The art comes first, which is the movie, and then life comes after. The, the, the same thing happens, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, because I saw the picture of Mona Lisa, and I just sit there now like this. You know the if alien invasion is coming, John. You know, you know what? Right? If we oh. only lived on a globe, we wouldn't have any of these problems. I know. Exactly. Exactly. We don't earth. live on a globe. And I'll tell you right exactly. now, wait for the exactly. alien invasion because that's going to happen next because you know how hey. they're going to round up the, the population of the Earth when they stage a fake alien invasion when you guys Jimmy, are in your Jimmy, bedroom and you me. see a spaceship flying across the sky. You're probably right. You're probably right. Yeah, right. That's right. Aliens, the aliens have seen us. They see what's going on here. They don't want a bar of us. They draw like, right on by, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're like, guys, we're like a reality you. show to them. You know those bad I, reality shows like the Kardashians? I, That's us to the aliens. They're just looking at us like <laughs> Dave is ready to pass out. I, 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 I can't do any more, guys. I, I, my, my, you've zapped my energy completely. I wanted to, I'm surprised I, wanted Dave to about I did miss the show. Uh, I thought I would make it a full hour. I, uh, we're pretty oh, Actually, we're, at it. we're almost at an hour. So we, we got three minutes, Dave. I'm going to do my Are we doing our show you shot, Jimmy? Uh, do the shot, go, Jimmy. Do the uh, shot. Fill in the last two minutes. Do it in your shoulder. Yeah. Right <laughs> if, if you put in your eyeball, I'll, I'll zoom in on you, okay? Because uh, everyone's <laughs> <pretty good. laughs> Jimmy, 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 cause his testosterone. Just shoot it in your balls. Put it straight in there. <laughs> that's where that's where it should go. It should go in the. No, we'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> you know what I'll do, Lee? I'm gonna I'm gonna do something special for you. I'm gonna go to bear dump. I'm gonna stamp my testicle. And then I want to send a video. I want to send it to you. <laughs> I got plenty of photos of my fucking, you know what, all bleeding like that. So I, I know what it feels uh, like. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, he does. He was great. There goes right, the moment. I love you guys. Uh, I'm wrapping this up. Uh, thanks for joining us here for another edition of Iron Rage. We'll see you again next week.